On today's show, we have a St. Kateri statue, children's books about the saints, and a Byzantine crucifix, here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. I'm Emily LaSusa, and I'm so happy to share with you some beautiful holy reminders of our Catholic faith here on EWTN Religious Catalog. July 14th was the feast day of St. Kateri Tikakwitha. Kateri Tikakwitha was born in upstate New York in 1656. Her father was a Mohawk chief, and her mother was an Algonquin who was raised Catholic. Kateri was orphaned at age four by a smallpox epidemic that left her with poor eyesight and a badly scarred face. At age 19, Kateri Tikakwitha converted to Catholicism, taking a vow of chastity and pledging to marry only Jesus Christ. Her name, Kateri, is the Mohawk form of Catherine, which she took from St. Catherine of Siena. Kateri led a life of prayer and penitential practices. She taught the young and helped those in the village who were poor or sick. She died at the age of just 24. Here is a St. Kateri Tikakwitha statue that is just lovely. This statue of St. Kateri depicts the saint as she appeared after her death. When St. Kateri died on April the 17th, 1680, witnesses said that her face, much emaciated from her final illness, changed color and became radiant as if she were alive and well. The lines of suffering, even her smallpox scars that she bore from the time she was just four, suddenly disappeared and the touch of a smile came upon her lips. I love the detail in this statue, her dark braids, fringed garments, and moccasins. Kateri was known as the Lily of the Mohawks, so she's depicted here holding lilies. The statue is made of a resin mix and stands 16 and a half inches tall. It was hand-painted in Colombia. Those who are devoted to St. Kateri will love this brand new fine pewter statue of her, proudly made right here in the USA by skilled New England craftsmen. St. Kateri is securely mounted on a cast pewter base that is engraved with her name and finished with gold antiqued paint and a protective lacquer coat. St. Kateri holds the cross close to her heart symbolic of how she embraced all the suffering she experienced. St. Kateri is the patron saint of ecologists, the environment, people ridiculed for their piety, people in exile, and Native Americans. The statue measures four and a half inches tall. If Kateri is a patron for you or someone you know, this St. Kateri Tekakwitha rosary would make a great gift, and it's only available at EWTN Religious Catalog. It's made with six millimeter burgundy speckled glass beads and an elegant silver tone crucifix. It features a beautifully detailed pewter medal of St. Kateri Tekakwitha as the centerpiece. Encased on the back of the centerpiece is a piece of cloth that has been touched to the tomb of Kateri at St. Francis Xavier Mission near Montreal, Canada. It measures approximately 20 inches when laid flat. St. Kateri was canonized a saint by Pope Benedict XVI on October 21, 2012. This St. Kateri pendant medal was struck in honor of her canonization and comes with a holy card with encased metal. Just like the rosary, it's an exclusive EWTN design. The round pewter St. Kateri medal measures 7 eighths of an inch in diameter and it too has a third class relic that has been touched to the tomb of the beloved saint on the back. This medal comes on a 20 inch stainless steel chain with clasp. The pendant is packaged with a beautiful holy card of St. Kateri with a different medal embedded in the card. On the reverse of the card is an intercessory prayer to St. Kateri. Evelyn M. Brown tells the inspiring story of this young saint in the book, Kateri Tekakwitha, Mohawk Maiden. After her conversion, Kateri faced terrible opposition from her adoptive family and the Mohawks. 
Eventually, she left her homeland and moved closer to a Jesuit mission in Montreal, where she lived for the rest of her short life. Kateri was then able to make her first Holy Communion and make a vow of celibacy to become a Bride of Christ as she had long desired. Learn much more about her and encourage your children to read about her when you pick up this great book. St. Kateri is an inspiration to all of us to persevere in faith. I have a great bundle of St. Kateri items to share with you now. You'll save 30% when you purchase the EWTN original movie, Kateri, along with the chaplet of St. Kateri Tekakwitha. The 24 beads in this chaplet represent Kateri's short yet fruitful life. On each grouping of brown, red, and crystal beads, you'll pray either an Our Father, Hail Mary, or Glory Be. A lovely crucifix and St. Kateri medal hang from the chaplet. A card with prayer instructions is included. The EWTN original movie, Kateri, was filmed on location in Canada and the United States. Responding to the Christ-like example of an enlightened missionary, Kateri becomes one of her people's most fervent converts to the Catholic faith in North America and our nation's first Native American saint. The movie is contained on one DVD with a running time of an hour and a half. It's been closed captioned for the hearing impaired. In the traditional calendar, St. Vincent de Paul's feast day is July 19th. I want to show you this incredible statue of him, and it comes with a free DVD. The statue is made of fiberglass and is crafted with all the tradition brought from Italy 80 years ago. It's a stunning and tender image of the saint, embracing some of the youngest souls in need. It measures 16 inches, including the base, and is imported from Peru. St. Vincent is the founder of the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity. He instituted the Congregation of Priests of the Mission, the Lazarus or Vincentians as they're now called, and worked always for the poor, the enslaved, the abandoned, and the ignored. We now celebrate St. Vincent's feast day on September the 27th. With the statue, you'll receive a free copy of the EWTN original production, Church Universal. In this episode, Father Joseph Mary Wolf welcomes members of the St. Vincent de Paul Society. It's critical that we share the stories of the saints like St. Vincent de Paul with our children. Here are two great books that do just that. Heroes of God, Saints for Boys by Daniel A. Lord, S.J. and illustrated by renowned children's artist Larry Rupert was first published in 1946. It introduces 31 saints that every Catholic boy should know, including St. Vincent, St. Benedict, St. George, St. Gregory, St. Martin, St. Michael, St. Thomas Aquinas, and even more. There are 64 glossy, full-color illustrated pages. And Heroines of God contains 31 saints for girls, including Mary Magdalene, whose feast day we celebrate this week too. Along with Mary Magdalene, your kids will also meet saints like Bernadette, Bridget, Catherine of Siena, Claire, Elizabeth of Hungary, Scholastica, and Therese. This book also contains 64 glossy, full-color illustrated pages full of more great saints. Children are drawn to imitating others. If you're a parent, you've probably picked up on this already. If we aren't presenting our kids with great stories of the saints, they'll find other models that the world offers them. That's superheroes, movie characters, or pop stars. Let's show them holiness is for everyone. St. Camillus de Lellis is remembered on his feast day, July 18th. He has an inspiring life story that you should know. Check out the EWTN original production, I Shall Serve You, The Life of St. Camillus. Camillus was a 16th century soldier and compulsive gambler, but he's now the patron saint of doctors, nurses, and the sick. Hospital work in Rome and his own health conditions opened Camillus's eyes to the deplorable care which the poor received. 
with the approval of his spiritual director and confessor, who is popular local priest St. Philip Neri, he established a religious community to care for patients and was himself ordained in 1654. The order's care was so exemplary that they were praised for ridding Rome of bubonic plague, and Camillus was hailed as the saint of Rome. The docudrama is contained on one closed caption disc with a running time of one hour. Here's a clip. In those days, you paid for the treatment you received by staying on as an assistant, as an attendant afterwards. And Camillus was there as an attendant. <coughs> And so he, he began working there, and they were very taken by what he was doing, and he rose to being the master of the hospital. If you or a loved one work in the medical field, you can pay tribute to the enduring work of this great saint by wearing this sterling silver St. Camillus of Lellis pendant with chain. The medal measures seven-eighths of an inch tall by three-quarters of an inch wide. It comes on a 24-inch, endless, light rhodium, heavy curb chain. This medal can also be personalized to make for a truly meaningful gift. Serving as a caregiver for a family member, friend, or any person takes abundant wisdom, patience, courage, and the help of God. This daily companion for caregivers provides a spiritual boost to those who give of themselves to others in this beautiful way. The scriptures, quotes, reflections, and prayers you'll find in these pages are for those who, by nature, circumstances, or profession, are immersed in tending to the physical, emotional, and temporal needs of others. Nurses, doctors, police, fire, and military personnel, as well as anyone caring for a loved one, can keep this prayer book close at hand to strengthen their compassion and mercy, to heal and to suffer with whomever they help. It has a green flexible leatherette cover with embossed details and a ribbon page marker. I'll show you a little bit inside so you can see the prayers for every day. We can ask for the intercession of St. Camillus for caregivers, nurses, and doctors. Show your appreciation for those in the health profession, especially by praying for them. I want to share with you another book that will encourage anyone who gives of themselves in these fields of work, or for anyone needing a spiritual boost to heal their soul. It's Chicken Soup for the Soul, Everyday Catholicism, Seeing God's Action in Our Lives. This compelling collection of stories is compiled by Leanne Thiemann and presents convincing evidence of God's active presence in our everyday lives. Whether you're a cradle Catholic or a convert, solid in the faith or wavering, these stories will deepen your conviction and stimulate your hope and trust in God. Your faith will be bolstered and your heart leavened by these poignant true life accounts of God's grace and action and how it invigorates and transforms people's lives. Other titles in the Everyday Catholicism series of Chicken Soup books are Real Stories of God in Our Lives, God's Miracles in Our Lives, and Hearing God's Answers in Our Lives. As I mentioned earlier, the great Saint Mary Magdalene's feast day is this week on July 22nd. I think she's a favorite saint of many of us, it gives us hope to see how a sinner who repents can be welcomed to Jesus' friendship, stand beside our Blessed Mother at the foot of the cross, encounter Jesus on Easter Sunday morning, and become a great saint. From our fantastic new line of fine pewter statues, this is a beautiful statue of Saint Mary Magdalene. The figure of Saint Mary Magdalene is securely mounted on a cast pewter base that is engraved with her name and finished with gold antiqued paint and a protective lacquer coat. Mary clings to a large cross and at her feet are a skull and an ointment jar. The statue measures four and a half inches high 
Saint Mary Magdalene is a patron saint for converts, hairdressers, penitent sinners, those overcoming sexual temptation, pharmacists, and perfumers. Our new line of pewter statues is proudly made in the USA by skilled New England craftsmen. Check out all of our fine pewter statues on EWTNRC.com. The stunning olive crystal necklace of the crucifixion that I am wearing depicts Our Lady and Mary Magdalene standing at the foot of the cross. This original seraphim heirloom necklace is designed to be an elegant expression of your Catholic faith. It is made with 30 facet cut, 12 millimeter oval, olive, exotic Asian crystals, and four genuine cream, freshwater pearl accent beads, three hanging from the centerpiece, and one more at the clasp. When laid flat, the necklace measures 18 inches. The metal is cast from bronze and measures four and a quarter inches by one and a half inches. It comes with a bronze toggle clasp. This is a truly gorgeous statement piece for your jewelry collection. What a beautiful way to give testimony to the redeeming love of our Lord. St. Mary Magdalene is hailed as a prophetess of Eucharistic love in this book by Father Sean Davidson. Adoration is love, and Eucharistic adoration is love of Christ present in the Blessed Sacrament. In the Gospels, there are few people who understand love for Jesus as well as Mary Magdalene, which is the reason she's called here a prophetess of Eucharistic love. How beautiful. Based on the biblical texts traditionally associated with Mary Magdalene, readers will learn from her inspiring example how to enter more deeply into adoration of Jesus Christ, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. In telling the story of Mary Magdalene's profound conversion, this book shows how she's a shining witness to the transforming power of an encounter with Jesus Christ. I think this Byzantine three-bar crucifix is simply gorgeous. Better yet, it's packed with meaning. It's an incredibly detailed crucifix made of cold cast bronze with hand-painted gold accents and subtle colors. At the top is a representation of God the Father, along with Our Lady, Queen of Heaven, Star of the Sea, flanked by two angels. On each end of the middle beam, next to our Lord's pierced hands, are Saint John the Beloved and Saint Mary Magdalene. At the lower cross beam, there are two trumpeting angels announcing the release of souls from the underworld at the triumph of our Lord. The larger skull at the foot of the cross represents Adam and the original sin that our Lord freed us from through his death on the cross. There's also a pious tradition that Adam was buried under the hill of Golgotha. The crucifix measures eight and three quarters of an inch by 16 and three quarters of an inch with a sawtooth hanger on the back. Next we have a laminated holy card of St. Mary Magdalene. The card shows Mary Magdalene kneeling penitently before a cross with the gospels, her jar of costly ointment and a skull symbolizing how we must all be prepared for death. The back of the card features a prayer to St. Mary Magdalene. The card is made in Italy, and you'll save as you purchase larger quantities of prayer cards, and you can mix and match designs. Find all those details at EWTNRC.com. I love tiny saints for clipping onto backpacks, zippers, and keychains. They're also great to give to friends as sweet reminders of their patron saints. Of course, we have a St. Mary Magdalene Tiny Saints clip-on for those who are devoted to her. She is pictured in the garb of a penitent with her characteristic long curly hair. This whimsical clip-on caricature of St. Mary Magdalene is made of a soft plastic material with a sturdy swivel lobster claw clasp. You can visit EWTNRC.com 
to check out all of the adorable tiny saints that we have. They're regularly priced at $5 each, but if you buy three or more, they're discounted to $4 each when added to your cart. You'll have no trouble mixing and matching. On July 23rd, we celebrate St. Bridget of Sweden. She was a wife, a mother, a mystic, and was canonized a saint in the year 1391. St. Bridget was granted many revelations on the passion and sufferings of our blessed Lord. We can experience and benefit from those in this book of the magnificent prayers of St. Bridget of Sweden. St. Bridget relates that she had desired for a long time to know the number of blows our Lord received during his passion. Jesus revealed to her that he received 5,480 blows. He told her that if souls wished to honor his wounds, they should say 15 Our Fathers and 15 Hail Marys, in addition to certain prayers which he taught her daily for a whole year. When the year is finished, each of his wounds would have been remembered in prayer. It's believed that the devil particularly hates the incarnation, the fact that Jesus took on weak human flesh. Honoring our Lord in this way shows our appreciation and love for his human nature. It teaches us to respect the sacredness of our own bodies and those of others. And it probably angers the devil greatly to pray in this way. And that's pretty awesome. You can find out more about this inspiring saint when you watch this fantastic EWTN original production, St. Bridget of Sweden. Encounter one of Europe's most prolific Catholics like never before as the faithful vocation of a 14th century model of prayer, piety, and love comes to life in this EWTN original docudrama. Follow the trials of St. Bridget of Sweden from the deaths of her mother and husband, onwards through the profound revelations that called her to start a new religious order and beyond. The two-hour documentary is contained on one disc. Here's a clip. No, you couldn't understand. This is already hell, and she, she is Lady Lucifer. Ah, oh, that's enough, Let's stop it. Hey, you shut up now, listen. You've suffered much, very much. But this brings you even closer to Christ. If possible, you're even more dear to Him. Come to me. You know where I live. I will wait for you every day. St. Bridget of Sweden said, There is no sinner in the world, however much at enmity with God, who cannot recover God's grace by recourse to Mary and by asking her assistance. St. Mary Magdalene surely clung to our Blessed Mother as did so many saints after her. We would do well to follow this excellent advice from our spiritual sisters. Now here's a recap of all the items we showed you today and the information on how to order them. Today we showed you a St. Kateri Tekakwitha statue Item number 941 for $59.95. The St. Kateri Tekakwitha Fine Pewter Statue is item number 99474 for $49.50. The St. Kateri Tekakwitha Rosary is item number 302K for $15. The St. Kateri Pendant and Holy Card with Medal is item number KTR for $13. The book Kateri Tekakwitha Mohawk Maiden is item number KTMP for $12. The St. Kateri Chaplet and DVD Set is item number K-A-T-K for $23.80. The St. Vincent to Paul statue with free DVD is item number K-0-1-9-4-K for $88.
Heroes of God Children's Book is item number 2578 for $10.95. And Heroines of God is item number 2579 for $10.95. The EWTN original production, I Shall Serve You, The Life of St. Camillus, is item number H. D. S. C. L. for $15. The sterling silver St. Camillus of Lellis pendant with chain is item number 5425SS24S for $71.50. The book Daily Companion for Caregivers is item number one six one one nine for ten dollars. The book Chicken Soup for the Soul Everyday Catholicism Seeing God's Action in Our Lives is item number three one five four one for seventeen dollars and ninety five cents. The Saint Mary Magdalene Fine Pewter Statue is item number nine nine. Four nine six for forty nine dollars and fifty cents. The olive crystal crucifixion necklace is item number N W T N one for one hundred and seventy eight dollars. The book Saint Mary Magdalene Prophetess of Eucharistic Love is item number four zero nine two nine for $17.95. The Byzantine three-bar crucifix in cold cast bronze is item number 75930 for $96. The St. Mary Magdalene laminated holy card is item number 800563 for 75 cents. The St. Mary Magdalene Tiny Saints Clip-On is item number H092 for $5, or three Tiny Saints for $12. The book Magnificent Prayers of St. Bridget of Sweden is item number 813 for $4. And the St. Bridget of Sweden DVD is item number H. D S T B for $20. To order your holy reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1 800 854 6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. On next week's show, we'll have a Last Supper plaque, a St. Anne and Our Lady statue, and a new St. Christopher pewter visor clip. Until next time, may God bless you and Mary keep you.